What's going on YouTube, GSN right here. In today's video, we're discussing about the jailbreaking status for iOS 16.6 .6, all the way up to iOS 17.4, particularly for the newer devices, the A12 Plus. So for those of you with iPhone 11, 12, 10s Max, 14, 15, stuff like that. We're going to get into it in a second. This video is brought to you by Any Unlock, a software that allows to unlock the screen passcode, bypass MDM and remove SIM lock. Definitely check the program out in the link below. A free trial is available for both Windows and Mac OS. So as you probably know, iOS 17.4 was released a couple of days ago and in that patch log we have in here an important vulnerability that could possibly be used for jailbreaking purposes. So it's this one over here, the CVE 2024-23-22-5, and this one could potentially be very useful because by the looks of it, by its description, it seems to be either a PPL bypass or an SPTM bypass. So essentially, SPTM is like PPL, but for A15 and newer, it's a uh, page protection layer for the device. It's a hardware security technique used on the devices. Essentially, you need to bypass it if you want to create a jailbreak, and this could be a vulnerability that would allow such a bypass to exist. Now any jailbreak, any proper jailbreak like dopamine for example, would require a PPL or an SPTM bypass depending on the device. So this could potentially be useful if we get a release for it. And the actual changelog contains many, many vulnerabilities, including one for Apple mobile file integrity. This is essentially what handles the code signing on the device. So if your applications are signed or not, a vulnerability here could be very useful. And it says in here on impact that an app may be able to elevate privileges, which could be useful. The iOS 17.4 does patch a lot of stuff. If you're interested in jailbreaking, I would highly advise you to stay on iOS 17.3.1 or lower. Now for 17.3.1, I think it's still signed. If you go here on my website on iDeviceCentral.com to iOS signing status, select your device, then you should be able to see which iOS versions are signed. And sure enough, iOS 17.3.1 is still signed, which means that if you made the mistake to update to 17.4, you can still downgrade right now. Just go ahead, select your device, go to this page over here and just click on the build number of the iOS 17.3.1 that will give you the IPSW file and you can restore that with a myriad of tools. Now this is not an exploit or a vulnerability that could help troll store creation because it seems to be as I said a PPL bypass or an SPTM bypass you would still need a kernel vulnerability but it could be possible to use this in order to create a jailbreak for iOS 16.5.1, 16.6, 16.6.1 and stuff like that for newer devices with dopamine and of course once we get a proper kernel exploit we could combine that with whatever this is and we could get a jailbreak even for iOS 17 so it still could be useful and I would definitely advise you to not update iOS 17.4. There isn't really much there to update for even in Europe with the side loading and stuff it's very gimped and you wouldn't really be able to do much with it so do not update. Thank you for watching, I'm Geo Snow, till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.